welcome to my tarot corner. So, um, well, I have to try and stop saying so in the beginning of every uh, sentence after listening to Bookworm 2 saying that whenever you say so, it is uh, probably some be before you're starting to say something that is not true. But it is uh, part of my uh, attempt to... Uh, maybe construct my thoughts in English because I, it is not my, it's not my first uh, language. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, before I start, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is, uh, it is open to interpretation. It exists as assumption and speculation, and as such, may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So this is, a, this is a spread that I wanted to use for a long time uh, with Megan. It is called the uh, Jungian uh, or Jungian, Jungian Archetype Personality Spread, and it comes from the book of 365 uh, Spreads by Sasha Graham. And it is very deep uh, looking into uh, the personality of a person, and why do, do I, did I choose to do it today? First of all, we still don't have a lot of information regarding uh, the Sussex's uh, visit to the UK, uh, not a, a sp a, at least not by uh, the outlets that I am watching. And um, lately, many people did uh, analysis of Megan and described her as not only a narcissist, but also a sociopath uh, it is quite clear that she is mentally disturbed but uh, I do want to do this analysis because it is going very deep into her ego into her uh, soul into her self uh, uh, and the way that she sees herself so first I am uh, going to tell you about this deck. This is uh, this is the Aquarian Tarot, another deck that comes in a tin, another deck that is smaller, and because this is a, uh, this is a, a twelve card spread, uh, I thought it was fitting to use it. Uh, so I'm going to try and spread all the cards here on the on the table, and each of the uh, parameters that we are looking into has four cards. The one parameter, the first parameter is her ego, then her soul, and then her self. So uh, first, I am clearing the deck. And once again, I'm not taking jump uh, 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 cards that jump because uh, it, I don't know whether it is really something that has to come out because of my small hands. So uh, let's start by asking Reagan Markle once again. It's Rachel, Megan, Raglan, Markle. Personality spread in Rachel Megan Markle personality spread her ego, her soul, and the way she sees her herself. Okay, so let's just cut the deck and the first four cards as I said are about her ego and um, the first card is what makes her happy 
And what I'm getting here is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of planning and strategy. So when we're looking at what makes her happy is when a plan of hers or when she strategizes something and it works. So whenever something that she's planning uh, comes to fruition and she sees it as a successful plan or successful strategy, uh, that makes her happy. So that's really very, uh, very um, easy to analyze. Uh, this is someone who is, uh, can have a good plan or someone who is manipulating. It doesn't really matter. But when her plan is coming to fruition and when she sees it as a success a success that makes her happy the next card is how does she connect with others and what i'm getting here is the three of wands so the three of wands it's a card of cooperation and re uh, recognition so this is a card that says that she actually does connect with others in a good way because the three of wands is a good card it's a card that shows that she gets cooperation with people and she is uh, getting the recognition uh, from them now her problem is maintaining that those connections but if you read uh, for example if you read uh, revenge you can see there that uh, all through her history she always connected very well well with people. Uh, Gina Nelson Cohen, for example, Misha Nunu, for example, Jessica Mulroney, um, um, how's it called? Um, Marcus Anderson, um, Rory McElroy. She has the ability to connect with people, to get them to recognize her and to cooperate with her. For uh, Rory McElroy uh, uh, called her uh, up for the ice bucket uh, um, for the ice bucket challenge, and she said that she is willing to take it on if he comes over to her friend's house and pour the ice on top of her. He he complied be, be, uh, without even knowing her. So she does connect with people. She does get the cooperation. Her problem is uh, is uh, continuing that connection. Her problem is maintaining those friendships or that cooperation from people. But uh, in the beginning, she's very good with that. Okay. The next card is the hero, or how, how does Megan prove herself? And what I'm getting here is the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is a card of destruction and failure that comes because of being in a Four of Pentacles uh, energy, which is the energy of feeling threatened, and uh, because of that, uh, uh, adhering to what she has. So, what does this card say about her? It says that uh, actually she is a this is, and this is about proving herself. So we need to look at the positive uh, uh, aspects of this card. And this shows that she's actually in a very difficult place. Uh, this is because she did not deal with the problems of feeling threatened. Uh, and she actually feels loss. And she is uh, trying to... Uh, to contain uh, her self-destructive uh, personality traits, but this card shows that she is a, a self-destructive. She has this tendency to burn out and to uh, not to self-restrain herself and to lose. This is about losing money. This is about losing a lot of things so this card is actually showing us why she starts a relationship uh, in a good term but she but it never continues because people are 
let's say, marketing her once they realize her true self, once they realize what kind of person she is. So, and this is how she proves herself, so that is not a very good way to prove herself. But this only shows that she feels threatened all the time, and she is not checking the threats to see if they are real or not. She is, uh, because of feeling threatened, she's adhering to what she has, and she ends up in the Five of Pentacles energy. The next card is the caregiver, or how does she care for others, if she does? And what I'm getting here is the King of Pentacles. So the King of, of Pentacles is not a person, is not a person that, or it's not the archetype of a uh, a, of a people's person. This is a general manager. This is someone who wants independence, independent career, someone who's very ambitious. And because he's the manager, he is acting coldly to people uh, around him. This is a card of someone who is not getting, uh, getting along with people. Uh, he doesn't really care about the people. Uh, this is a card Part of someone who can really be a bully because he only cares about uh, the uh, his career. He's looking. He cares about uh, the independent uh, independence and uh, everything that is connected with uh, money and business and ambition. He's not some. He's not a, a, a people's person. So he doesn't really care uh, for people. For people and this. This is uh, Meghan Markle and how she cares for people. So she don't. She doesn't. Okay. The next card. The next four cards are her soul. So uh, the first card is the Explorer, and it said it asks how does Megan expand, and that is in regard to her soul. And what I'm getting here is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. It's the card of a uh, deciding not to decide. Someone who uh, is unable to expand. Someone who is. Uh, unable to make decisions, uh, someone who is uh, constantly feeling that he's ill, that he needs uh, some time out, uh, and this is something that we see around Megan uh, all every time. See, she closes a chapter, she starts a new chapter, but she needs some time out be uh, between chapters. Uh, if we, c we could see that around um, the the time that they spent in Canada. For for example, after, b before they announced that they are leaving, leaving the royal family, they already knew that they were leaving the royal family, but she needed this time out. So she is up, uh, she's in, unable to expand emotionally. This is a card of someone who is uh, indecisive, someone who is not uh, acting, someone who feels wounded all the time. So this is the the person that uh, will keep on saying that he's a victim, uh, someone who uh, feels that he needs to run away, that run away from reality, and uh, someone who needs therapy. This is a card of someone who is emotionally unstable and needs therapy. Someone who is in a standstill, someone who is insecure, someone who is uh, restless and unable to make a decision. So that is how she expands. The next card is the rebel. How does she change when things don't work for her? And what I'm getting here is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords, that's a card of vacation. So when things are not working out for her, she just leaves them behind and goes to the next 
chapter. This is what she does when things are not working. So once she realizes that uh, whatever she did uh, did not work, then she puts it behind her and she goes uh, to another thing. This is what uh, the Six of Swords shows us, that a person that is going uh, abroad, a, a person that is uh, running away from what he, whatever he is living behind him and uh, studying anew. So this is what she does. She never tries to fix things. What she does is she runs away and taking her away, uh, taking her swords with her, runs away and just uh, trying to open a new chapter. She what, for example, when she realized that Suits is about to end, uh, she wasn't looking for a new uh, thing, a new uh, acting. She decided that acting is over for her. Uh, she uh, decided that it's something that is a chapter that she can close and she needs a new chapter. And this is the reason why she started uh, building uh, this image of a uh, uh, someone who is uh, caring about uh, poverty, about climate change, about feminism. So she tried to uh, build this image of uh, a social warrior, and then she went to England to look for a new victim, or, although she already had uh, someone uh, in Canada that she was in uh, in a connection with, but for her, that was a chapter behind her. So she was going away to, to start a new chapter. Uh, so whenever something is not going uh, her way, she's just uh, putting it behind her and running away. Okay, the next card is the lover. How does she experience intimacy? And what I'm getting here is the emperor. The emperor is the card of the father. It's also a card of someone who is unable to uh, uh, to have intimate relations. This is a person who is very strong, someone who controls the material world, someone who is uh, authoritative, someone who is uh, with high ma high management skills, someone who is lacking emotions. So this is a person that is unable to actually have intimacy. This is a person that is all uh, engrossed with his ability to control or looking for a way to control the world behind uh, around her she controls people she is, doesn't have intimate relationships with people just like we saw with uh, Harry in a previous reading she controls him she doesn't really love him she doesn't have an intimacy with him she has control over him that is because she's afraid of losing control and she she has difficulty in anger management, she's competitive, she's a, a perfectionist, and uh, she is immature in relationships. So this is a person that doesn't, is unable to experience intimacy. Okay, the next card is the chariot. What is Megan's vision? And what I'm getting here is the ace of sword. The Ace of Sword is about getting her ideas, getting her uh, thoughts, the getting her plans realized in the material world. So this is her vision. This is what she's trying to do. She's trying to get everything that she thinks, uh, all of her ideas, she tries to make them real. This is what she. This is her vision. She's looking for, a, looking for a, a way to make all of those ideas, all of those uh, thoughts, all of those plans, materialized in the material world. Uh, this is a person that is businesslike. This is a person that cuts things in order to move forward, uh, and this is a person who is stubborn uh, and. Uh, uh, someone who is 
uh, try, it doesn't have any emotions because uh, in her uh, in her mind, uh, thinking and logic uh, has to win over emotion. So that is another card that shows us that she is uh, emotionally immature. She doesn't really have emotions. Okay, the next card is, the next four cards are for her soul. So the first card is the jester. How does she have fun? And what I'm getting here is death. Okay, so death is a card of change. This is a major change because it nullifies everything that was before. This is a card that says it is time to start living. So, and this is the way that she has fun. So, in her mind, uh, fun is about trying to change her um, image, trying to change the way people see her, and uh, to reconcile that change has to happen, uh, and trying to uh, trying to make the world uh, see her in a different way. So this is her her idea of fun, not a really. Uh, good way of having fun. This is not someone who is celebrating. This is not someone who is really uh, uh, having really good time. Uh, this is someone who uh, keeps on thinking about how she can change the way that people see her, the way that people think about her. She doesn't want to change her true self. She doesn't want to change the way that she is, but she wants to change the way that the world sees her. Okay, the next card is about the sage, or what is Megan's truth, or Rachel's truth. And what I'm getting here is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, that's a card of someone who works hard despite the fact that he doesn't always get every, uh, what he thinks he uh, deserves. So this is her truth. She always feels that she works very hard, but she doesn't get what she deserves. She feels that he, she deserves more. This is a person who is a like an apprentice. He works hard, but he doesn't receive a lot of money. Uh, but this card shows us that she feels sacrificial. She feels that uh, she is sacrificing herself. She feels that uh, she works very hard, but she's not getting what she deserves. She feels that uh, uh, she is like a Sisyphus, uh, and she's she is. She believes that everything is very hard to get, and uh, she has to find a way to uh, advance in life. So this is her truth. She always looks for the easiest ways to advance herself because she doesn't want to be that person who works hard without getting a lot of money. She doesn't want to be a person who works like, for example, in a supermarket or someone who works uh, any other uh, sisyphical work without getting paid a lot of money. She wants to be, to be paid as much as she can without working so much. She wants to earn a lot of money. She's greedy. This is what this card shows us. Okay, the next card is the magician, or how does uh, she makes her, dream come, uh, her dreams come true? And what I'm getting here is the seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card of uh, being very focused on the important things and leaving the trivial things aside. So this is what she's doing in order to get her dreams come true. She's focusing on the most important things for her, leaving everything that she feels that is trivial aside. But this card also shows inattention to particular. It shows confusion. It, it shows 
as a person that makes mistakes because of that, because of not being able to really concentrate and really be uh, uh, concentrated on the most important things. Uh, this shows uh, confusion, it shows a tendency to get bored very easily. This is a card of someone who has tendency to procrastinate everything that we see with Megan. So she's always focusing on what is important to her at that moment, but she's forgetting what she did in the past. So this is why she uh, keeps saying lies that are contradicting li other lies that she said in the past. She has to employ really a big uh, a group of people that are uh, fact checkers and people that are uh, doing that uh, concentration and that focusing for her because she's unable to do that. Uh, she needs to, to have this continuity team that uh, checks what what she said in the past so she won't contradict herself right now because she's also always focused on what uh, she's doing right now she forgets what she did in the past she doesn't because of her lack of of a uh, uh, focus because of her forgetfulness and because of her confusion so that is the card of uh, making her dreams come true the last card is uh, how can she exercise control? And what we're getting here is the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords is a card of, of destruction. This is a card of failure that is known in advance because she's unable to see reality as it is, because she's running away from reality, because she's running away from problems. Uh, and she ends up in this Three of Swords re uh, energy. And her... Her main uh, control or the place where she should really uh, exercise her control is about seeing reality as it is, about taking off that blindfold and not ending up in this Three of Swords this, uh, re uh, energy. Uh, she needs to start seeing reality as it is. She needs to start facing what she has done in the past, what she's doing right now. She needs to start uh, uh, doing those things, but this card also shows that she is emotionally disturbed uh, and because of that she's in this self-destructive mode and she's overlooking all of the warnings uh, she's in able, unable to really do things to, sh to, to, to really uh, control her world despite the fact that she is she has so many cards here that show that she's trying the Emperor card and the King of Pentacles cards. Both of them are cards of people that are trying to exercise their control. And this is what she's trying to do. But because of her mental instability, because of her deep mental uh, illness, she's unable to do that. So uh, one thing that we can see clearly in this spread, this is a 12 card spread and she we have no cups in it this is a, a spread uh, that has none no emotions in it there is no emotion and a person that has no emotions this is a person who is a psychopath this is a person who is a uh, emotionally disturbed this is a person a person that has a severe mental health uh, diseases and problems. Uh, this is an antisocial person. This is a person who only thinks about his plans, about his strategies, about executing those plans. His all, every, uh, all of his, uh, um, all of his uh, relationships are relationships that are starting uh, in a good way but ending in uh, destruction and uh, two cards of destruction here uh, on both sides of this spread. So this is a person that only thinks about their plans, their, their, uh, um, their strategies, about exercising their control about the money that they will receive and has no 
emotions whatsoever. No cups in here. And this is a very non-stable uh, spread. So when you, when you look at a spread and you need to look if you have all of the elements of the tarot. So we have here major arcanas, we have court cards, we have swords, we have wands, we have pentacles, but we have no uh, no cups. So this is a spread of someone who is a sociopath, a, a psychopath, actually. Okay, so that's the tarot, and I am going back to the archetype deck uh, by Carolyn Miss, and I'm going to ask for three archetype cards. One is for Megan as a child when she was well, growing up. The other uh, when she was an actress. And then uh, the card that uh, is showing her, her archetype now. Now, because archetypes change uh, during your lifetime, so you cannot ask for one archetype card. So everyone ch changes their way of acting, their archetypes, uh, according to whatever uh, in whatever stage they are in their life. So that's what I'm going to look into because we, I am doing a very a deep dive into Meghan Markle's psyche and her. Uh, mental instabilities. So let's see what the archetype deck says. So I'm clearing the deck. Okay, so what was Meghan Markle's archetype as a child? What was it when she was an actress? And what was her archetype, uh, right, uh, archetype right now? Uh, what was Megan's uh, archetype as a child, as an actress, and what is it now? So maybe we can see uh, the differences during her different life uh, uh, life chapters. Okay, so the first card we're getting here is the child, the orphan. So this is uh, just what she said about her being an only child. And this is her childhood. Uh, this is a card that shows that she's feeling abandonment. And this is what she felt when her mother, for example, abandoned her. A, a feeling of abandonment that stif stifle maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. So this is just the card that uh, tells us why every time that she is uh, making any kind of connection with a man, he feels that he's giving her the family that she never had, because this is how she felt as a child. No matter how much Thomas Markle pampered her and how much he gave her and how much uh, love she got, she still felt abandonment and she felt that she didn't have a family. So this is, uh, this is how she, this is her archetype as a child. As a child, she felt an orphan. Okay, as an actress, she felt teacher. And teacher is someone who is uh, in, a, in the light attribute, someone who has an ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. And in the shadow attribute, it's someone who is manipulating or abusing uh, students, teaching negative traits and destructive skills. So as uh, if you remember, when she was an actress, she uh, told about herself that she was a, a, that she was a fraud. Uh, this is a teaching or sh manipulating uh, other people. This is uh, showing people that she was a fraud, showing people how you can uh, m manipulate uh, other things. So this is about a uh, destructive skills and this is what she had and this is the the way that she acted when she was an actor she was she had the tig and she tried to teach 
people how to uh, dress and how to have a, a relationship and how to make food, but she actually didn't know anything. I mean, when, when she was in this cooking, uh, cooking uh, uh, TV show, she showed the chef that she was grilling lettuce. So this is about showing uh, uh, or teaching negative things, showing that she actually is not really a teacher. Okay, what is her archetype right now? And what I'm getting here is companion. So in the light attribute is someone who is loyal, tenacity, and unselfish. When it is in the shadow attribute, it's betrayal by misusing confidence and loss of personal identity. So this shows her companionship with Prince Harry. She betrayed everything that uh, she told him in the beginning, everything that he gave her. She misused the confidence of the royal family, and uh, this is a person that uh, caused Prince Harry to lose his own personal identity. So this is a deep dive uh, into uh, Megan's personality, and I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, hit on the notification bell, leave me a comment, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.